this is one of the most beautiful places to play baseball in all of Europe. And this is what I'm really proud of. When I started playing in Füssen, we, we literally played on a parking lot. By now, everybody's so excited to come to practice. You know the old saying, build it and they will come. And it has definitely worked. This is by far the best place here. Yeah. And the teammates, it's like, it's like family for me. Mitch has really put in everything he has, basically. All his blood, all his sweat, all into this club and this field. And has brought it back to life, basically. I think if you told me 10 years ago that we have a field like we have now, I would have probably laughed and said, like, no way. <laughs> Fissen is a hockey town. It's, it has a tradition of over 100 years. I think building a baseball field was definitely tougher than building a hockey stadium. What hockey is in winter, I want baseball to be in summer. I got into baseball through my neighbor. We just played in the backyard, throwing, fielding, running. It never got boring. Then one day there were guys from the baseball team and they said, hey, you guys are playing baseball, you want to come to practice? We have a game today, you should come by. You got to imagine there was nothing around the field. It was an all gravel parking lot. It was basically a parking lot with a bit of dirt on there. It was rock hard. Um, opponent teams wouldn't wouldn't like to come down here, even though we have all the scenery and uh, and it's a it's a it's a great town and everything. But they still didn't want to come down here because the field was just so bad. Not having proper training facilities just basically forced me at an early age to do something. I was like in my early 20s and we were driving around the city trying to find lots that are big enough, that are flat enough to build a baseball field. We first planned to just have like a grass field with a backstop and maybe dugouts because we didn't have any money. But somehow found money that we were able to um, get the plans bigger and better and stuff like that. So it was even in the period of the construction we like made like another step, another step, another step. It was like more of the sausage uh, strategy, they say in German, it's like putting one piece on another and... <laughs> it was December 4th, 2019, and we broke ground with all uh, politicians there, with the mayor, with our architect, just knowing like it's gonna start now and it's gonna become reality. That was just an amazing feeling. Of course, the whole organization helped together to put together the field. We spent many, many weekends working eight to ten hours just working and doing something on the field. It took us 15 years, but now it's no doubt uh, one of the nicest sceneries around Europe to play baseball in. Baseball has made a great impact to my life. I went to places all around the world through baseball, going to tournaments, to tryouts. Went on to play college baseball in Atlanta, so I want to just share this. Mitch is the most important person for us. He's the coach, he is teammate, he is Fissen. <laughs> <laughs> Having the Bavarian Day, I'm super excited. It's our biggest event all year. It's just like the best feeling. People just come down, even though it's not about the game of baseball. It's just being around friends, having a good time, drinking beer, eating burgers, eating Bavarian food. That's just what it's about. There's all the fans chanting and clapping, and, and you're out there on the field, and you know, okay, we've, we've done it. Yeah, this is the guy who brought me into baseball, and uh, this is why we, we have this field now here. Since the Kingsfield was built, we've grown in popularity, and the impact has been huge to the organization. 
We have so many kids joining the club wanting to play baseball. We have so many uh, sponsors and the press and media being interested. And this is really just because of the Kingsfield. Everything is alive again, basically. Baseball in prison. Before that, it was kind of, I don't know, if you have to practice on a parking lot, just the motivation is higher. Now, yeah, everybody's excited to be in the second Bundesliga and hopefully more. We actually had three guys in the past that made it to the Regensburg Academy. We could move up to the first league. That's not a question. Um, the field is not the limit anymore. So that's why lots of good players that left us because of the field being a limit for their success and for their personal growth, they now come back because they know, okay, in Füssen we don't have a limit anymore. Obviously, we're absolutely proud of what we have accomplished until now, but I'm hungry. I'm not done yet. We want to keep going and we, we see what the uh, hockey stadium looks like and this is where we want to go. So it's not, we're not there yet. <laughs>